Hi, I'm Mary McLaughlin. Welcome to Dover, New Hampshire. I guess I do kind of enjoy being a thorn in the tobacco industry's side. I mean, they're doing something wrong, and if they're not ready to sort of pay for that, then they shouldn't really be doing it. They shouldn't be killing people for a profit in the first place. So they sort of deserve to be picked on, and they deserve to be protested against. Merritt's really been a mentor within the program. She's helped lead younger students. She's taught them presentation skills or how to create radio public service announcements. So she's really been a role model within the program. Get help at 1-800-TRY-TO-STOP or at smokefree.gov. It's really important to always find new ways to get your message out because if you keep doing the same thing, people aren't going to listen. We're going out on kick butt today and the object of the game is... Well, um, we're going to have a big protest um, for Camel Number 9 cigarettes. Well, here in New Hampshire, we uh, recently went smoke-free, and I think that has a lot to do with Merritt and the, uh, the whole group from Dover Youth to Youth. They spent a lot of time over at the Capitol in uh, Concord to talking to the Senate and the various representatives, saying, hey, here's why we want smoke-free New Hampshire, and it's happened because I think a lot of their efforts. Hi, I'm Mary McLaughlin, and I support Senate Bill 42. It was really kind of exhilarating to, to know that I'm having a big part in passing this legislation. It's really important to me that New Hampshire went smoke-free. Merritt is very creative. She's always coming up with new ideas on how to get her message out. Around Halloween, Merritt organized a candy-flavored tobacco demonstration. So she had this whole theme of trick-or-treat, and she was out there educating the public about how the tobacco industry was adding candy flavors to their cigarettes. Big tobacco definitely markets to kids. There's evidence in their advertising campaigns that they are targeting me and they're targeting my friends, and this is not acceptable. It's something that we need to stand up and fight.